Welcome back to Season 2 Riff of the Week. This week we're doing uh, Seven Nation Army by The White Stripes. This is a good song if you're just getting into rock and roll or learning things like power chords. So there's three main parts to this song. We'll call them Section A, Section B, and then the bridge. So Section A and Section B are a lot alike. Um, here's Section A. <laughs> Section B is a mix with that first one in the chorus section of the song. So section B alone sounds like this. When you mix them together, you get that chorus part, which is... And that repeats twice. So let's go over what those notes are. Uh, it's all in the A string. You're gonna start on the seventh fret, play that once, and then you're gonna play seven, and then go up to ten, back to seven. So, so all together. If you want, you can use the same finger here and just slide up to the tenth fret and then back down to seven. After that, you're going to slide down to the 5th fret, play that. And then down to the 3rd fret. And 2nd, finally. And that's all on the A string, so the 5th string. If you're just starting out, just start with the root notes just like I'm doing. Um, if you're already familiar with power chords, you just apply that top note, the second note of the power chord, to each one of those notes. So 7 and 9, going up to 10 and 12, back down to 7 and 9, and then 5 and 7, 3 and 5, and then 2 and 4 finally. So that sounds like this. All right. So section B uh, starts out the same as section A. It'll um, it'll go here. Once you hit that three and five power chord, go back up to five, five and seven and then back down to three and five, and then finish on two and four. So that. So when you get down to the third fret, just scoot back up to five, back down to three, and then finish on two and four. Okay, so that's a B section. So then uh, for the bridge, this is a good starting point if you're just getting into power chords. Um, I would just start out on this section so you get a feel for how to hold this this uh, power chord shape here and be able to move it around like that. Um, so what it is, is you're going to jump down to uh, put your first finger on the third fret of the E string. And then you can use your ring or your pinky for the second note, whichever one's easier. Uh, the second note is on the A string, fifth fret. So the whole shape kind of looks like that. And play just those two notes, make sure you're not hitting any of the other strings. Uh, and again, if you're just getting into power chords, just practice moving this chord shape across the fretboard. So you like play it once on three and five, and scoot up a fret to four and six, and just repeat that process. This will um, help you better memorize by feel how to hold these chord shapes instead of having to set up the chord every time like that. So uh, the bridge section is uh, these two chords, so 3 and 5 on the E and A strings. And you're going to strum that eight times. Then move that same shape up to 5 and 7, so that's 5 on the E and 7 on A. And play that another eight times. 
And that's it. That's it for the bridge. Okay, so practice each part. Practice A section, B section, and the bridge. Get all those down. Um, after you feel comfortable with that, then you're ready to start putting the whole song together. So let's do that now. Um, so the, the full song format will go, it goes verse, which is the A section 12 times. Uh, so the verse and then bridge and then chorus. And the chorus is the A and B sections alternating. So it'll go A, B, A, B. And then after that, um, you'll do the bridge once more. And then the whole thing loops. It goes back to the verse, which is A section 12 times, and then bridge, and then chorus, and then bridge. So we'll do one lap through that format. Um, I'll play it a little bit slower for you, just so you have something to jam along with while you're putting the whole song together. Once you feel comfortable with this speed, just go ahead and start playing along with the track. So, all right. Uh, one thing you'll need for guitar tone, um, if you have a distortion pedal available, uh, go ahead and use that. Um, if, if you have the pedal, turn it on for the bridge and chorus sections, both bridges, and then turn it off for the verse section. Um, if you don't have a pedal, you can still achieve like a similar effect. As long as you have a distortion setting on your amp, uh, you'll want to turn that all the way up, or at least to sound something like this. <laughs> Something like that and then what you'll do to change the tone is you're going to use the volume knob on your guitar if you turn that um, I turn mine to about halfway down and it comes out sounding like this a little bit cleaner not all the way clean but uh, there's a definite difference between between those two so um, pick what you're gonna do try to practice that maybe playing some of the riffs and switching um, so let's get into the full song now, all right. All right, so one, two, three, four. Thank mm -hmm. you. 